Hey everyone and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Welcome back to Middle Earth Gaming and this is another news update video because we have another news update obviously that's why I would make this um, but obviously in the Sunday preview that just got announced uh, a couple of that well you know, this morning slash last night uh, depending where you are in the world um, we have some new news for our Middle Earth Strategy Battle game. Not the news that we were expecting um, quite a bit of uh, a surprise actually we have a new made to order going up uh, you know, I, I honestly thought that we, you know, we have Birder and the Troll Chief, uh, and the, not the Troll Chief, the, uh, the, uh, the Hill Troll was going up on pre-order this week, but no, it is a new made to order. So we're going to go into it, we're going to go into the uh, details of it, um, how limited it is, and also of uh, what we are getting in this made to order, because I think it's actually a bit late on this one. Um, but I'll have a bit of a chat with you guys about that. But if you guys want to enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on all notifications so you don't, don't miss out on any more content. And let's get straight into it. So as you guys can see, I have the Sunday preview right here. And it says, The Children of the Great Horn Rat. It's all about Skaven. Um, you know, if you're, if, if you're into Age of Sigmar, it's your thing. Um, so we have like the new Skaven stuff. I'm not really interested. Again, I'm not into Age of Sigmar. The models are really cool. I think that one looks pretty damn cool. Um, but when we go further and further down, past all of the Skaven, there's a lot of rats, a lot of rats we go into Middle Earth and we have a new made to order, which is, you know, obviously no one expected. Um, it says a Middle Earth strategy battle game made to order, um, which is quite amazing. It says many units and heroes are returning to Middle Earth on a made to order basis next week. The forces of good can recruit uh, as the warriors of the dead, uh, the warriors of the dead, two parts of Minas Tirith, uh, two pairs of Minas Tirith, I can't even speak right now guys, uh, get off the white as he appeared at Minas Tirith, the nine heroes of the West and Frodo and Sam in orc armor. We also have for evil, we have get a mortal troll, mortal or captains, and a 14 strong warband of Eastling warriors. Before the Witch King set, Eowyn, Meriok, Brandybuck, and the Witch King of Angmar is also coming. All these products are going to co are cast in metal, and as made to order products, they will be available from 10 a.m. local time on Saturday, the 7th of September, which is this Saturday coming, until Monday, the 8 a.m. BST on 16th of September. So you have about, what is that? That's probably about nine days for this made to order. So let's get straight into it. So we have uh, the fall or the fall of the Witch King set. This is not the final fate of the Witch King. This is the first version of that um, that came out in I want to say Return of the King era. It might have been a bit later than that. Um, I honestly don't know when this came out. I think it came out around maybe the Return of the King source book, um, not the starter book, but you know, not the starter, not the um, the rule, the Return of the King rule book but the source book, as, as we all know and love. Um, so, you know, it's quite a later version. Um, I already have that Witch King. I have him in fine cast, but it'd be nice to give him a medal. I think I do have a medal as well, because I've got battle games. Um, so yeah, very, very cool. Um, that Eowyn is highly, um, highly rare, so it'd be nice to see her coming back. We have Frodo and Sam in Orkama. Again, they've been on made to order recently. Um, I'll, I'll say recently, back in Quest of the Ring Bearer time, so like two years ago, maybe even more. Um, so it's nice to see them coming back. I already have these models, so I don't um, need them, but very, very cool nonetheless. We have Gandalf the White. Um, this was the Minas Tirith Gandalf the White. The first came out in, I want to say about 2012, um, was when he first came out. Um, very, very, very cool model. You know, I, I don't have him. I used to have him. I don't have him at the moment. I don't have him anymore. Um, so that's cool to see him come back. You know, he's been out of production for quite a long time. I don't think he's actually been in on Mates Order. We have Heroes of the West. Very, very cool set. Definitely gonna pick this up. Um, yeah, I think I think it's a must have. I think it's a very very cool set. Um, Mordor captains again. They were in one of the last made to orders. Um, I think they're actually in the last made to order back in 2023. Um, because yeah, we haven't had a made to order for quite a while. Except no, I I, I tell a lie. <coughs> we had the Rohan one at the start of this year, but um, I still haven't received mine. But um, yeah, it is what it is. It's a made to order, so hopefully that should uh, be coming out soon. But um, yeah, these guys have been on on. Um, on made to order for like you know quite a few times now so it's nice to see them back again um i already do have them but i'm thinking about maybe picking them up again um for my angmar army because i'm doing completely new army for angmar um so you know yeah, I, it's okay if they're, um, they're going to be painted differently anyway so um so yeah cool to see them back we have two packs of the warriors of Minas Tirith command um i'll probably pick these up because they're classic sculpts classic models um the captains especially you know that captain on like the with the sword in the air like that um i i used to have him in the old minister of battle host back in 2006 whenever that was um so yeah de def that's definitely a bit of a nostalgic model for me um and then we have the classic classic metal mortal troll 
Um, I love this model. I really do. Um, I don't know if I'm going to pick it up. I've already got like three Mordor trolls. Probably not enough troll. Um, but who knows? I'm, I might. I don't know what the scale's like. Because I, I haven't had it in years and years and years. So I'm not sure what the scale's like. If you guys do, let me know in the comment section below. The Metal Army of the Dead. Again, a very interesting one. Um, very cool to see them come back. Um, again, some of these sculpts I don't think I've ever, I've ever seen. I've seen the middle one, the bottom right, and the bottom left. Those are the I think that's because they used to come out in three packs. Um, and then there were also there's also the King of the Old King of the Dead and the Warriors of the Dead set, um, which was a metal set. You got like ten warriors and the King of the Dead or something. Um, but yeah, very cool to see them come back. Nice to have some you know variety in your Army of the Dead. Who knows? Um, then of course we have the Eastling Warrior Warband. As you guys know, I have a lot of Eastlings. I'm also thinking about adding more Eastlings and I was thinking about getting more of these like from eBay. So I might pick up maybe another two Warbands of these. We'll have to wait and see. Um, again, it's all, there's so much stuff coming out at the moment, unfortunately. Um, well, not unfortunately, but um, you know, obviously all the new Rise of Angmar stuffs just come out. Um, you know, there's still Birder and the Hill Trials to come out. There's this Made to Order as well. <coughs> but there's also, of course, we've got to save up for the new edition coming out. And who knows what that's going to come out. So, it's interesting. I definitely want to get some more Eastlings. I want to get, like, at least another two boxes of these. Like, another two two of these sets. Um, I remember how much they... I, I do remember how much they were in the last made-to-order. And I think the prices have actually gone up since then um, for metal. So, I expect them to probably be a little bit more. Um, but, again, lovely Eastlings. I, you know, I, I wish they redid the Eastlings because... You have so many pikes here in the in the plastic set. You get twenty Eastlings and only four pikes. Here you get sixteen Eastlings. Is it sixteen? No, eight. Twelve Eastlings and eight pikes, <coughs> which makes sense for a pike plot, which the Eastlings are kind of known for. So very very cool to see them come back. Um, again, I have to see how my how, how how my budget is, but I would love to pick up another two of these sets. But we'll have to wait and see. Um, and yeah, that's it. So that you know, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Are you guys excited? Are you guys, you know, are you guys gonna be picking any of these guys up? Um, like I said, I'll probably pick this set up, the um, the final fate of the Witch King, or not the final fate, but the um, Fall of the Witch King set. I don't need the Witch King, <coughs> but um, you know that Aowen, I I I love that Aowen, so uh, I'll definitely probably be picking that one up. Um, Fern and Sam, I don't need them. Gandalf. I'm a hit or miss with. I actually don't like that pose. I think it's a cool pose, but I prefer other again off the white poses. Um, Heroes of the West, I'll definitely be picking this up without a doubt. Um, again, Mordorite Captains, I'll probably be picking those up. The two Minister of Command, I'll probably pick them up just for nostalgic sake. The Mortal Troll, depends on the price. Um, I'll probably pick him up, maybe. If not, who knows. Um, and the Army of the Dead, it's very, very cool. And again, I might pick up a set of these, but just, just one set, because I don't think you need more than that. Um, just to get some variety in there, you know. And again, the Eastlings, depends on the budget, because, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. And with this new Angmar book, you know, I'm going to be build, building a lot of stuff, like making a lot of stuff, um, basically entirely new armies. Um, so again, we'll have to wait and see. Um, yeah, I, yeah I, I think it was like $150 for the, um, for the Warband in the last made to order. Um, but since the price has gone up, it's probably going to be up like 170, 180. If I'm not, I won't be surprised. <coughs> but um, again, we'll just have to wait and see how it is. Um, again, all up for pre-order this weekend, guys. Up for pre-order on Saturday, 10 a.m. local time, um, and then it's going to run until the 16th of September. So you have, like, like I said, about nine days um, to, uh, to, to to order this stuff. So there we go, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. A um, bit of a short video, but uh, yeah, yeah, I thought I'd get this information out there just in case you guys aren't aware. Um, and I think it's just relatively cool. You know, nice to see another made to order. Um, I also think, I didn't actually mention this before, but I think this is our Return of the King made to order. We never really got one. Um, we did get like a, uh, the, we had the Witch King on Fell Beast, which was a cool Return of the King set model. And we got like a couple of like orcs and um, like Rangers of, the, Rangers of the North. Um, which are now back in stock, uh, they kept coming back into the range, obviously. Um, that was back in 2023. We got a, we got a made, uh, made to order for uh, Fellowship of the Ring with all the sets. We got one for Two Towers with all those sets. Um, but we never really got one for the Return of the King. And this is very much a Return of the King um, thing. Obviously, Fall of the Witch Kings, Return of the King, Throne and Tim and Orc Armor, Return of the King. 
Gandalf and Minas Tirith, Return of the King, Heroes of the West, this was a Return of the King set. Um, Mortar or Captains, you know, take them or leave them. But you know, that, that, you know they, they, weren't, they weren't out for Return of the King, but you know, obviously Orcs are in Return of the King. Um, Minas Tirith Command, obviously, that works. Mortal Trolls, obviously, a Return of the King set. Army of the Dead's a Return of the King set. And Eastlings um, came out. Two Towers, I think. I think it was Two Towers. It was Two Towers or Return of the King. But um, yeah, either way, like I said, this is this is essentially our Return of the King made to order, just a little bit late. <coughs> so that, that's what I was saying before that. I think this made to order set was a bit late, but um, I'm, I'm happy with it. I think it's very, very cool. Again, let me know what you guys think in the comments section below um, and let's get, let's get discussion going. But if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe as you guys always do. You guys are very super generous with all that kind of stuff. And uh, I, pr I do appreciate the uh, the kind words and the uh, support, guys. So it definitely means a lot. Um, a lot of content coming out this week, guys, for Rise of Angmar. So look forward to that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. And as always, happy gaming.